thank you for coming today. I assume that everybody here in Los Angeles, uh, to get to any one spot, has had to come a long way. So, uh, <laughs> like, uh, like me, you've come a long way. Uh, I thought I would try to read something appropriate to where I am. Uh, this country has the, uh, perhaps it's a misfortune of having two long and lovely coasts and one tends to spend your life on one or the other. It's hard to uh, do both, but I have had some experience of the West Coast. Uh, I had a relative once who lived in San Francisco, and the first poem I will read of, of five, uh, coast, West Coast related poetry, is about, it's called Scenic. It's a piece of a virtually obsolete genre called light verse, um, meant to rhyme and scan. And uh, it does, it's called, uh, I guess, nothing else needs to be explicated, uh, scenic. Oh, when in San Francisco do, as natives do. They sit and stare, and smile and stare again. The view is visible from anywhere. Here hills are white with houses whence, across a multitude of sills, the owners, lucky, residents see other houses, other hills. The meanest San Franciscan knows, no matter what his sins have been, there are a thousand patios whose view he is included in. <laughs> the Golden Gate, the cable cars, Twin Peaks, the Spreckles habitat, the local ocean, sun and stars, when fog falls, one admires that. Here homes are stacked in such a way that every picture window has an unmarred prospect of the bay and in its center, Alcatraz. <laughs> uh, here's a poem written some years later, a sonnet uh, titled L.A. Uh, I spent some time here once, uh, many years ago now, early 80s, uh, somewhat in this vicinity, so the impressions which are in, embodied here uh, were gathered in the downtown. There was a columnist, maybe now dead, let's hope not, who uh, took a dislike to this poem and chastised me for the uh, inaccuracies. Uh, he especially was incensed by uh, the lines that go, the old time business blocks that Harold Lloyd teetered upon uh, I just was struck by how much the buildings in my vicinity looked like those buildings which are featured in the old Harold Lloyd silent comedies. They have that kind of, the little ledges that Lloyd used to teeter on. So I didn't mean it was precisely those buildings. <laughs> that, uh, anyway, uh, this is a sonnet, does not rhyme. L.A. Low at its center. One can find oneself atop a paved and windy hill, with weeds taller than men on one side, and on the other a freeway thundering, a canyon's depth below. New buildings, in all mirror styles of blankness, are being assembled by darkish people, while the old-time business blocks that Harold Lloyd teetered upon crouch low, in shade turned slum. The lone pedestrian stares, scooped at by space. The palms are isolate like psychopaths. Conquistadorial fevers reminisce in the adobe band of smog across the sky, its bell of blue a promise that lured too many to this waste of angels, of ever-widening gaps. That was my impression of L.A. I actually came over, I was staying not so far from the library and wanted to send it in quickly. I'd been out here for weeks and had achieved nothing except that one lonely sonnet uh, and really only the one image, the palms are isolate like psychopaths. It seems to me one of the really 
great images of my long writing life. Um, I was looking at the palms as I was coming in from the airport and I said to myself, yes, yes, they do look psychopathic. Um, these sort of long stems and these little bushy heads and God knows what's going on inside them, but they, they don't relate, right? They don't relate to, uh, to you or to the other palms. Um, <laughs> Uh, then uh, three, three short poems, uh, one's not so short, uh, uh, about the movies, the local industry, or the local industry that's best known in the, in the global marketplace. Uh, movie House, this is a poem about a small town movie house, the kind that's slowly being phased out of existence, but was very present throughout most of my, my life. Uh, big building, downtown, showed one movie at a time, uh, movie house. View it, and I, I spent a lot of my youth in one such, and then I moved to another small town that had a similar one. 